All right, now we cannot wrap up Home and Garden Show without talking about getting out on the water. That's right, because uh, joining us from the Great Outdoors Marine, we have the owner, Grant Ferguson. Grant, thanks for coming in. And it looks like you brought some things in here to give us some ideas yes. when we're ready to get out on the water. Yeah, most definitely. We've got to be safe now we're hitting the right. water. And, you know, that's those days are right around the corner. Mm -hmm. So exactly. um, starting with, you got to have life jackets on board and make sure that, you know, you get the right size life jacket for your family. So there are children life jackets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is that anybody, a child size? This is a child size. That looked a little small. So, yeah, it's not going to fit me. <laughs> but uh, anybody 12 years or younger, they need to have that on anytime the boat is in motion. So yeah. they need to always have it on. Uh, adults, if the engine is on. If adults engine, just keep it nearby? Yeah. They, okay. can, they can play that card a little bit differently. Okay. So tell us about this one because this one looks different. This is different. my favorite. For everybody's fur friends out there, this is a doggy life jacket. Oh, that's and we have multiple different sizes um, to get your all's uh, pups on the water. And this little handle to get them up and out uh -huh. easily. And normally people that. don't really think about the life jacket for your dog because a lot of times dogs are really good swimmers. Oh, so you right. don't but think maybe not all breeds are. What's right. great so. is trying to get them back in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where it helps the most. <laughs> That's a, I have a question. Where's the front and where's the back? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the front is right up here to, to get their neck through. Okay. Yep. Yeah. In case you were wondering at home, this is the front end <laughs> sure. of the dog. Uh, life jacket and then there. this is a paddle I'm guessing can help you hopefully out. hopefully you never have to have this okay. uh, and actually use it you always have to have it on the boat but those are never fun days if you're trying to get out of exactly. the way if you're having engine troubles mm -hmm. but you have to have one just in case okay awesome. any other things that are essentials to have on your boat well I mean for someone like me I like to fish I know a lot of people do as well so you know I would always recommend having some fishing things on there yes. as well. Uh, <laughs> definitely Looks like we have a couple of examples here mm -hmm. are these fishing tools yeah yeah so you know <laughs> So for those ones, oh my God, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the people that don't want to use live bait and they want to go for a bigger catch, like uh, try to catch a bass or anything, that would be a jig that would mimic a crawfish. Oh, wow. So and if Lisa and I don't want to put, put a worm, a live right. worm yep. on, we there would we use go. this. Right there. Okay. There That's the awesome. ticket. And, uh -huh. and people can come find you at the Home and Garden Show and you can show them all these of kinds course. of fun things, right? Of course. Awesome. Of course. That's great. Well, I feel like at least I've learned a lot today. Hopefully you at home as well, but you can get information at the Great Outdoors Marine booth. Uh, where are you located? Because you all usually have a big display. We do. We are uh, towards the llama in the oh, back. So okay. I mean, if you the see the llama, llama, you're going to see us. That's so. near the okay. WSAZ booth as well. There so we go. Easy Perfect to find. Location. You can come see us. Perfect you can spot. come see the llamas. Uh -huh. And if someone's thinking about buying a boat, do they also stop by and chat with you about of that? Of course. We're going to have a boat set up as well as side sides and four-wheelers. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure people can get tips on kind of fishing. Mm -hmm. Uh, aside from kind of the safety and things like that, you probably know all the best places to fish and all things like that. I mean, that. I'll try to tell some of my secrets, maybe not all not of them, all. but okay. hey, I don't you know, blame definitely you. I will always talk fishing with somebody. That's yeah. wonderful. We're looking at some pictures of some of the boats right now. What seems to be the trend right now? What are people looking for? Pontoons. I mean, we're known as the pontoon headquarters. Uh, now we have those set up with ski tow bars to be able to pull people oh, okay. around uh, on tubes and skis and have all sorts of fun and be able to fit the whole family on board. Great. Oh, Great. okay. And I'll to see some four wheelers, so you've got you've got all the outdoor themes going. If anyone needs uh, something to get out there and enjoy on their weekends, there. So, did you grow up doing these kinds of things, being out on the lake, outside, oh, things like that? Well, as soon as I can get on the water, <laughs> I did. My, my dad had me on the water, and that's how I learned to fish. You know, at Beach Fork Lake Marina, oh, yeah. is where I learned to fish uh, bluegill fishing with night crawlers and whatnot. So. Oh, and I'm goodness. sure that people, different people with different needs, with different size families, mm -hmm. different interests, they kind of have different. Well, I need a boat that this size or I need these kinds of things. So I'm sure talking to people face to face is most mm -hmm. definitely. And we can get the boat that fits your all's family's needs. Wonderful. Sure. What about some of the fun accessories? Do you all sell uh, floats and tubes and things? Yeah, so we have a full accessory uh, display at our uh, dealership and okay. at the marina to where we can get you in, you know, tubes to do all sorts of water sports and everything you need with that. Also, we have floats and, you know, okay, kids' very sizes cool. as well. So, makes Okay, it nice. kind of a one-stop shop. Where are you right. all located? Yeah. We're right outside of Huntington and Lavalette, West Virginia. Okay. okay, and then, of course, this weekend, we know where you're going to be located. You're going to be at the Home and Garden Show, but there's the information in, in case people want to stop by or give you a call or check out your website. And, um, Grant, that is, this. I love this, especially the yeah. dog life jacket. I mean, who knew they needed one? We've got the safety covered. We've 
we've got the fun covered. Yeah. We've got the great outdoors covered. So lots of uh, fun tips that you can get this yes. weekend. And of course, now you just got to come see us. That's yes. right. <laughs> Excellent there. Well, the WSAZ Home and Garden Show kicks off this afternoon. You can even join our home and garden expert, John Mara, yes. as well as many of us here from WSAZ today through Sunday at the Marshall Health Network Arena in Huntington. So the Home and Garden Show will run from 4 to 9 today. Rob Johnson's going to be yep. there this evening. Nicholas Snyder's going to be there. Joseph Payton's going to be there. So, And then we've got a full slate of people that are going to be there this weekend. Mm -hmm. So come and join us. We would really love to see you there. And you're looking at a live shot right now. You can say everything is set up. All we need to do is have people come in, and that starts at 4 o'clock today. Well, thanks for joining us on Studio 3. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun. Hopefully you have, too. Have a great weekend.